This is game two of the BSG StarCraft 2 Cup. This is the fourth of that. It takes place on Saturdays at 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Times. This is taking place on the C server for all those international viewers. Uh, this is the second of the finals. Uh, we have Flame and Filler here in the bottom left hand corner as the pink Protoss, and we have Captain Jack at the top right as the green Terran. Now, Captain Jack did win the last game with a uh, MMM push, Marine uh, Marauder Medipack. I stumbled over that. I am shocking tonight or today. Uh, but he pushed forward and did very well. He killed Colossus, killed everything. There were no sentries to get force fields up, which really, really hurt. I mean, Protoss, you can't just you know attack move in. You've got to use your sentries. Uh, that's your, but to be honest, that's your best unit. Sentries with force fields are really, really, really strong. You can basically trap units from running away, or you can block units from attacking. If you basically let Medic Marine Marauder get a surround on you, and you get a surround on them, just two lines attacking each other, the, the Terran will win. You need to fight half the army, uh, honestly a full army against half an army, you decimate it, and the other half is just going to lose. Either it runs away, you can trap a few units, or it will come forward and you'll just win the game. Without sentries, you'll lose. Can't say enough. I see a lot of a lot of Protoss just not getting sentries. You need to be good with those sentries too. Just spamming for it. You need to know how to use them. Practice the sentry micro, and that'll make you a great Protoss player. So, map is Zelnaki Caverns. Obviously, here we have uh, Flame and Filler picking the map. Uh, seeing as he did lose the last game, it's a good map. It's pretty balanced. There is room for naturals. Obviously, the third base, I find, is usually quite difficult to take. You either take the gold, which puts you quite close to your opponent and allows him to either come round into your main with drops and stuff like that, or you either take the third that's sort of like down the ramp behind here, which means your opponent can attack down this path here or can come round in natural and your main. Uh, still, obviously, better than maps like Steps of War where taking your third's like, wow, it's like on the other side of the map, but still. Um, seeing the same build pretty much from Captain Jack, uh, he loves two barracks very early. That second Rex is quite early as well. He doesn't like add-ons, so he won't have gas at all. Uh, his build obviously is made to the finals, so I'm not going to diss his build too much, but obviously this is a gold, silver, and bronze tournament. If he wants to get to that diamond level, you should look at getting that gas and getting those add-ons going. Add-ons are such a good mechanic with Terran, because they work for every building, so you can transition to stuff, and we actually have here Captain Jack get supply cap, so yeah, that was a bit of a small blunder there, but shouldn't affect the game too much, as he gets obviously another barracks, I just missed that. Uh, down here, warp gate getting researched, not chrono boosting it out, choosing to get probes, in fact not getting anything at all right now, he's going to get the uh, good old uh, one zealot, one stalker, one sentry to hold that wall down, as we see his tech, twilight council going down, oh, okay, that's a very quick twilight council on, on one uh, gateway, I, I'm going to take a punt here and say DTs, I think he's going to DT rush him. I, I don't know. Either that, or he just really, really wants like high tempos or something. I'll just wait and see how the build goes. I just want to keep keep you guys in mind. They could be going DTs. DTs against Terran, you might think they just scams you. It can work. Uh, he's in three DTs, and you sort of like wait for the mule, or just hope the mule's not up. He won't have any energy to scan you. He can break in the base. Obviously, this plate if it doesn't take long to kill, split them up as well. So you can have like one come in here and kill this stuff. One go sort of over here and kill this supply depot and put one in the minerals. And when he scans, he can only scan one of them and two still live. So obviously, the other detection he can get, Raven, not going to have it. Looking at this build, he's not going to get a star port up in time. And missile turret needs an engineering bay, hasn't got one. And we do see a fifth barracks going down here. Uh, this is going to be a marine push. He could also use it defensively. Uh, instead, he's getting zealot legs. And mm, he hasn't, okay, maybe just want a quick zealot legs. Zolt legs are good against uh, bio, so you might like that. And you can use sentries to sort of wall him from running away, so his ults can get in there and do damage. Anyway, I would like to see a dark shrine, that was fine. Especially if you put it in like a spot like down in the bottom right hand corner or something. Uh, this is an all in, here we go. Should be fun. So, I don't like him, I think this build here that, that um, a good friend Captain Jack has gone is going to completely counter. I don't think Zolt legs will be done in time. I don't think there's enough gateways, there's not enough um, sentries, and the fact that he's gone zealot heavy means that the marines behind the shield will still be able to shoot the zealots, and he's going to be stuck with his own choke point. So, we'll to see how this all in goes. SCV is going to go in first, although SCVs aren't going to do as much damage because zealots are going to destroy them. Obviously, if uh, Flamin Phil can hold this, he will win the game. Anyway, here we go now. 
He has seen this build. He's put two force fields down. That is an error. You only need one. He is down to what, one zealot and one sentry. And these SCVs are going to come through and kill that sentry now. As everything else walks up the ramp here, zealots are out and they're all hitting SCVs. So all the SCVs are going to die, but no marines at all. He's sending probes, but there are way too many marines. They're just gunning them down as they come forward now. Uh, yeah, Captain Jack's won this one. So, we've seen this one done against uh, Persky, I think it was, and it worked then, that's worked again. So, Forge, I reckon that was a complete build count. I uh, wasn't too much you could do if you're going zealot legs and zealot heavy against that, but hey, why not throw it at your opponent? So, Captain Jack goes two games up now, so stay tuned for the third game, this best of five.